Hello my viewers. I have a brand new favorite tool. And what is it? It's the Fieldpiece Induct Diagnostic Psychrometer. This baby is riding up front in my truck with me from now on. Let me tell you, it is a very unusual tool in that it's very accurate when it comes to reading the uh, relative humidity. Uh, I've already put it through the test here around here in my own home and it's extremely, extremely accurate. So I'll take this little cover off here that protects the sensor and I'll turn on the device by pressing the on and off button for a couple seconds and immediately it comes up to a reading that gives me the relative humidity and the temperature. The, the relative humidity and the temperature is probably the most handy information that the air conditioning tech can have. And this has it right here, all in one. I mean, and what's cool is, is you can actually walk around at home and you can find hot spots easily, okay, by looking at the temperature. Just kind of walk around and, and it'll tell you what the relative humidity is in and, and, and any location that you go. And right away, I mean, it's, it's very accurate, very fast. It's really, uh, like I said, the most handy little tool I'm going to be able to have because it, I'm always having a, a, a problem with especially relative humidity in, in, in many areas. And of course you have hot spots when you have computers and things like that running in different zones. So, all right, now I'm outside, and of course I'm reading a different temperature and relative humidity, higher than it is in the house at the moment. And I want to tell you a couple other handy things about this uh, diagnostic tool. The magnet, the uh, fantastic magnet that Fieldpiece has on many of their great products. I am addicted to this magnet. I mean, without this magnet, uh, I don't know what I'd do sometimes. And the other thing, too, is the backlight. I mean, you go up in a, a crawl space or something like that with, without a flashlight, or well, maybe even with the flashlight, but it's very handy to have this little backlight on the meter. All in all, I mean, just with the display, displaying the temperature and relative humidity, I mean, that to me, uh, uh, pays for itself as a diagnostic tool. And to sweeten the deal, the SRH3 actually calculates the target superheat and the target exit evaporator temperature. Let's put this guy through its paces. All right, I'll take the cork out of my return duct so I can insert the wand. And okay, the first thing we'll do here is we'll press the on-off button to boot up the induct psychrometer. Press it for a couple seconds, and there you go. It's on. Now to get the target superheat, we'll toggle this button down here one time and that will automatically take us to the induct or indoor wet bulb reading. We'll press enter to lock it in. And next it'll want to know the outdoor dry bulb temperature so we have to go outside now. And now to lock in the dry bulb temperature outside. We'll press the enter button one time and that locks that in. Now to hit the target superheat we'll press the output button which I did with my thumb there and there you have it 15.5 and by the way you would only bother to get a target superheat if you're using a fixed orifice such as uh, a piston or 
just uh, capillary tubes and you can change the temperature and everything by the way to Celsius right now because uh, I live in the US and I don't really think in terms of Celsius I'm, I have it on Fahrenheit All right, now I want to show you how you can toggle between relative humidity, dew point, and wet bulb. All you have to do is toggle this button right here. And right now it's showing the relative humidity at the top. Press it and you'll get the dew point, 52.5. Press it again and you'll get the wet bulb reading. Then press it again and you'll get the relative humidity again. Now to get a reading to find out what your target evaporator exit temperature should be, you'll press this button again until it reads TEET -E -E down here. And then you'll get a wet bulb reading by hitting enter and then your dry bulb reading again hit enter and then you'll hit your output and there you have it there's your target evaporator exit temperature the field piece SRH3 comes in a really nice case uh, that's padded very much like many of their other products probe or wand uh, and of course here's the actual uh, SRH3 right here comes also with a, a duct cone holder thing that's very handy 